Watch Mojo. You guys know who I'm talking about, the big corporate top 10 list ranking company. You know what I'm talking about. They make like five videos a day. They got like 15 different YouTube channels. Huge corporation on YouTube, and they've actually made some top 10 Call of Duty Zombies videos. So today we're gonna be looking at one of their videos, top 10 best Call of Duty maps ever. I feel like I've watched this video before, but it was like a lot of years ago. And all I remember is that like the Zombies community hated this video. This list is just so inaccurate. It's so obvious that they never played the game before. I thought I'd react to it today because it's been so long since I watched it, and I kind of forgot what they put on here. So let's get right into it. It pains me to search it. Watch Mojo. Joe, top 10 zombies list. I almost spelt that right. It's also an all caps rip. Top 10 best Call of Duty zombies maps with an exclamation point two years ago by Watch Mojo. Let's hop into it, guys. Let's see what they said. Please just keep getting better. And better. Keeps getting better. All right, they got they got their Eisendrock. Subscribe for more great content from Watch Mojo, guys, for sure. They show PM63 <laughs> gameplay. Why would you? No, no. Okay, first of all, nobody buys that gun off the wall. Why would they show gameplay of that? No one in the history of Kino has ever bought that thing, and that's the first gameplay they show. Yikes. Number ten, Shangri La. What? Shangri La. I did. I knew it was gonna be bad. I didn't know it'd be this bad. Honestly, from my perspective, I could see this, but as a community. People literally hate this map. What? What? <laughs> Shanger Lot number 10? I want to hear the justification for this. Again, great gameplay. Thank you, Watch Mojo, for that. And it's remained a fan favorite ever since. Not only is it Gordon. Remained a fan favorite. That is not factual at all. I swear, like 80% of the community absolutely hates this map. Like, for me, I like this map. I could put this on here, but everybody else, no. And new specialty zombies like the Napalm and Shrieker always keep you on. Yes, we all like the Napalm zombie. A lot of fun. I like that gun. I mean, they're kind of doing the right strategy there, so at least they got that some decent gameplay there. All right, so Shangri-La. I respect this. Nothing wrong with Buried. Buried was underrated, and now I think it's getting the love that it deserves. Buried's good. This is a, this is a good pick. Again, great gameplay. Watching Leroy just walks up. War <laughs> Pack a punched War Machine gameplay. What are these guys? Who is playing this game for them? Dang it! They're making ad revenue off me. Skip, 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 skip. Bang. Oh well, it's all good. They've earned it. Moon. They've put two of the biggest like love-hate maps in here with Shangri-La or Moon. You either love Moon or you hate it. You either like Shangri-La or you hate it. And I feel like a majority of people in the community also hate Moon. I really not a big fan of Moon. I would not put this on the list. I feel like a lot of people are with me. Moon's not that good. Largest, yeah. a ton of new features to the series, as well as taking place on the friggin' Moon. Okay, that's cool. Again, on Black Ops 1, it's like it's like an ugly map. The Black Ops 3 version is a lot more fun, I'd say. It's still not that much fun, but it's still a lot more fun because it looks a lot better, but it just looks terrible in Black Ops 1. It's gray, green, black, just boring colors. Look at that. And new astronaut zombies which teleport away and steal your perks. Yeah, hype that up. Best Easter egg of the entire series. Which is uh, I wouldn't say the best Easter egg. The Easter egg's very boring. It's like all, all RNG based, but hey, the ending is, of course, undeniable. It's awesome. It's awesome. For sure. That's a fair point, but... Yeah. <sighs> knocked. Knocked over Buried? I just realized they put Knocked over Buried. I, like, I have nostalgia for this map, but it's not better than Buried. There's nothing to do on this map. It's, it's, a, it's a good map. It's fun to camp with friends, but it's just... It, it's not better than Buried. What? Knocked Dead on Toten, which is German for Night of the Undead, was the map that started it all. And while it is relatively bare bones and simplistic by today's standards, it's very bare bones, but like I said, it's not a bad map, but you cannot put this higher than buried. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? But it was revolutionary for the time. It was revolutionary for the time, honestly. No, still hate that pick. Like, just the fact it's above buried makes me mad. Kino's alright. Ah, uh, I, I can see why they put this on here. It's a very. It's very iconic in Zombies. I can see them putting on this list, just because everybody knows this map. I'd maybe put it on top 10, just for nostalgia, honestly. Yeah. This map has been criticized in the past for being a bit too easy. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. That's a very good point, man. Like, sometimes with all these complex BO3 maps and stuff nowadays, you just gotta go back to the roots of Zombies, killing stuff in Black Ops 1 Kino on the stage. For sure. That's a fair point. Number five, Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead. I... I love this map. I'm, like, again, I don't have a problem with this pick, honestly. It's a great map. But again, it's another thing with the, a lot of people in the community are just like, no, this map's honestly really underrated. I feel like a lot of people haven't played this. Classic. And that's due to it's good. Reason. Celebrities. This map was the first I feel like it's due to a lot more than that, but I feel like it's because the scavenger, the PhD, was PhD introduced? I don't think PhD was, no, it wasn't. That was on Ascension, but it's got great PhD spots, two wonder weapons. They help, though. The characters help, for sure. Guys, no matter what you say, George Romero literally made Call of the Dead. I don't care. If he was not in that map, it'd be an awful map. He made the map. One of the best bosses ever, because he literally single-handedly makes a map, so he's one of the best. I don't care what you say. He's great. 
Ascension. <laughs> These guys really like their Black Ops 1 maps. Now this is pushing it. Ascension is so easy, so boring. What, this, what did this map add? It didn't add anything. They're talking about originality. It added like Lunar Lander deals, kind of. Thunder Gun was in Kino. Katruska Dolls or whatever they're called. The Sickle. Like it added like two things. This map is not good. This is an awful pick. This is a terrible pick. Ascension included many firsts, including Space Monkeys. Which yeah, those things are stupid. Everybody hates those. No, they're not adorable. No. The Easter egg was not that good. Okay, I like the perk additions for sure. That's revolutionary, but the map's not good. Again, it looks boring. Black of Fair pick, fair pick, yes, of course. Great map, great map. There's nothing wrong with this, honestly. Besides that gameplay resolution, god dang. Is it actually that bad? You'd expect more from a huge corporation. Look at that gameplay. I literally see, I can point out the pixels. Origins. Of course, Origins number two. Another great, but you can't argue with that, but... Yeah. See, I put Origins, I put Origins at my number one, so I kind of have to agree with this. It's a great map. But what's, what's gonna be number one? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Shino Numa. Like, these guys just love the BO1 World at War map. Shino Numa is not a top, no. No. Watch them put, like, five. Let's see, no, what's a stupid map they'd show here? Die Rise. They're gonna show Die Rise. I know they're gonna show Die Rise. Oh, Dries and Drac. I forgot about Dries and Drac. See, I, don't, I personally don't like Dries and Drac, but objectively speaking, I could, this didn't even make the top 10, did it? It literally made the honorable mentions. That's tough. <laughs> Duris. They skip over Gorod. They skip over Dries and Drac. They skip over Shadows. Origins. Barry. Mob of the Dead. All of those maps that are infinitely better than this map. I understand this map implemented, like, Pack-A-Punch. And did it implement a perks? No, it didn't even implement perks. It literally just implemented a pack a punch. Number one, though. Number one. That's Black Ops One gameplay, by the way. And Dare Rise is not only the perfect combination of everything. It's Darice, please. Just, I don't even care if that's the proper way to pronounce it. It's Darice. Stop saying Dare Rise. Dare Rise. It's Darice. Do you agree with our picks? No. Check out these other great. No, no one does. <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank you. We got that over with. That is Watch Mojo's top ten. Best Call of Duty Zombies maps ever. Die Rise, guys. Or, no, Darice. Darice, my bad. I thought Die Rise was going to make the honorable mentions. No Darice and Drac, no Gorod Krovi. None of those good maps. No Shadows. No Shadows. And this is why giant corporations just shouldn't do this type of stuff. See you guys all later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.